more complex is the rope litter. So you'll see how the rope is laid out here. First you need to start with a figure eight that's going to figure eight on a bite that's going to go down at the base and you're then going to lay out the rope in coils. Once the rope's laid out you'll go ahead and put in whatever you have as stiffeners. Ski poles work well, skis, and slight pads. We're also going to add a burrito wrap here for our victim. So one sleeping bag for the bottom. Then put another sleeping bag down that the victim will go in. This victim's helping themselves. Once you have your victim moved onto it, you'll then start daisy chaining and the new loop goes through the old loop. See how the new loop comes through the old and you cinch it up twice towards the head. New through old. New through old and daisy chain it all the way up. New through old. When you get down towards the end, there's actually no specific way to finish it off. Part of it depends on how much rope you have. Here, we're just tying it off on one side. If your patient had a C-spine injury, you'd be doing more to protect the head. If you're not sure how to finish it off, you don't know how to tie knots, just tie a lot at this point. Finish off the extra rope, get tucked in. Down at the base. And again, this is designed for four or six people, but here we're just using two. And then you can see you can carry your victim.